Ladies and gentlemen, today I found out there are three new recalls on my C8 Corvette and I will give you an update on my rear view camera mirror issue. All right, let's see if it works today. Look at that. Hello everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. So of course, isn't that how it always works? You find something wrong with your car and you schedule an appointment with the mechanic and all of a sudden whatever you thought was wrong with your car is not wrong anymore. <laughs> or so it seems. However, I know that this thing is still probably broken. It's probably gonna still go in and out. So I'm not gonna not take it in. I'm gonna go ahead and take it to Classic Chevrolet and make sure that everything is okay. I don't think everything is okay. I think they're gonna have to fix some things. So anyway, before we get into the video, if you have not smashed that thumbs up button, please do so as this helps break the algorithms in YouTube and really pushes my video out there, really promotes it and helps support my channel. Also, if you have not joined this wonderful Brink of Speed community, make sure you smash that red subscribe and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Check it out, guys. Thank you so much for everyone who responded to my last video. For those of you who gave me great ideas on what to do about the PDR, uh, I mean, basically it was real simple. I just took it out. I deleted a bunch of the videos and now it seems to be working just fine as you saw. But that's what I love about this Corvette community. I absolutely love each and every one of you. You guys reach back out and try and figure out things uh, and, and find solutions for me and other people. I see you co commenting on other people's comments who ask questions and I love that. I love that this is like a forum. So I appreciate that ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna get driving here and I will check back in with you guys when I get to the dealership. All right, so I'm here at Classic. I'm going to go in and talk to Joe and see what we can get figured out. So she's going to scan it here and see if any codes pop up for the mirror. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't get much footage at the dealership. I got Susie, uh, you know, doing the code reader. That came back with no codes, but she said that's not near as thorough as what the actual tech is going to have to read codes. And really, I don't think it's going to be a code that pops up for this thing. I don't know how they're going to figure out what happened, but in the meantime, I did get an email. I'm going to pop it up on the screen, uh, but somebody else has experienced the same thing as me, as you will read here. And so... That's, uh, I'm really glad I got this email because so far on the video, I hadn't had anyone comment saying that they had had the same experience. But anyway, it's at Classic Chevrolet. I'll check back in with you guys when I get back there and I find out what actually went wrong. All right, I am back here at Classic Chevrolet to pick up Captain America. and gentlemen so as you can see in that footage the rear view camera mirror worked fine and it did all the way home from classic Chevrolet so basically what they told me that they did is they contacted GM GM told them that they had a few of these going on 
uh, you know, a, a few of these claims going on with rear view mirror problems. And so what they found that they needed to do was they needed to put grease on three different connections, which I talked to <laughs> the guy that installed my high wing while I was there and he was thinking that that was kind of hilarious. But anyway, um, that's what they said to do. So that's what they did. But as I said in the very beginning, that there were three new recalls and I found out what they were and I've got them right here. Uh, I'm gonna put those up on the screen while I'm reading this so that way you guys can see them perfectly crystal clear. But this is what they say. There was a transmission control module recall. Something to do with the transmission control module programming with SPS. So they reset that there was also a service bulletin on incorrect radio frequency. So they corrected that. And then the third one was an instrument panel cluster control module and graphics reprogramming with SPS. So three different recalls that I've never even heard of, but obviously they're out there. So I wanted to bring them to your guys' attention. It's kind of interesting that I had three different recalls, but that's how it goes sometimes. I'm glad that they were able to fix them all. Who knows about the rear view camera mirror? As I showed you earlier in the video, someone did email me with the same exact problem, and apparently GM has seen this problem a few other times. So keep an eye out for that. Keep an eye out for these uh, recalls. They're not serious recalls, but they're definitely recalls. And that's really going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I can't stress enough how much I absolutely love this car. Look, ladies and gentlemen, life is too short to worry about things like this. Life is way too short to say, I'm going to wait for the second year or the third year or whatever of a car. So that's why I didn't care. That's one of the reasons, because I wanted to go ahead and get it while I'm still young. I also wanted to grab this car since I have a YouTube channel and it just made good sense to get it now. But again, I hope each and every one of you love this video. If so, give me a big thumbs up. If you have not joined this wonderful Brink of Speed community, make sure you smash that red subscribe and the bell for notifications when my new videos are uploaded. I hope each and every one of you has a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you out on the road.